Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about five random things all under $20 that every single filmmaker needs. How'd you guys survive Black Friday craziness? I actually hate going to any mall or any store on any day where there's big sales. I just think it's pandemonium. It's just too much stress to bother with some sales. It drives me nuts. But Cyber Monday, you can shop from the comfort of your living room. And that's why I'm talking about five things all under $20 that every single filmmaker needs. And you can order these straight from Amazon from the comfort of your living room. And you can buy all of these from Amazon straight from the comfort of your living room. You don't have to deal with any of that craziness of Black Friday, going to the malls, a uh, headache. If you didn't see the video on Friday about my color grading process, go check it out. But I released the new CineLuts 2.0. I've been working on these for a long time. And these are the newest looks that I'm using for all of my films. Usually the pack comes with 12 different looks, two versions of each look, one for normal footage and then one for log footage. But right now there are three bonus exclusive LUTs that are only available right now for a limited time. And of course all the other presets and my courses, everything is on sale right now. So make sure to check them down in the description. And because everybody's loving it, so much I decided I'm gonna extend this sale all the way to Friday which is the announcement of the 200k giveaway winners if you haven't already entered link down in the description make sure you enter you can win a Canon M5 and some aperture lights a 120d and an LS1 half it's a really great starter kit for your filmmaking process so you have until Friday which also happens to be my birthday actually, um, to take part in the giveaway and also get these exclusive LUTs and take part in all the other sales. So here are some random things that you might not think about right away. They're not your typical lenses and cameras and things that you think that you need for filmmaking, but these are really important things. And in some situations, they're actually necessities that you need to have. All right, so first up we have bongo ties. These are super random actually, but they're basically elastics with this little I think it's bamboo or plastic, I don't know what this is. This little thing on the end. And they're super versatile. You can wrap up things with them, you can attach different things. You can actually attach a bunch of them together if you have a bigger object that you need to strap onto something. They're just a really nice thing to have if you're in a pinch and you just need to mount something really quickly or you need to wrap some cables up. These are really handy, super cheap, highly recommend them. Pretty much every single commercial set I've been on, somebody has had these things, bongo ties. Number two, what you need is a shower curtain. This is actually a great way to diffuse light. I did a whole video on different diffusers and this one is a great one. It's super cheap. You can scrunch it up into a little ball so it doesn't take up much space. It's just really handy and it sounds kind of weird and you might be a little bit embarrassed using it, but it actually works really well and it's a really cheap way to diffuse your light, to make your light look way better. It works, it's worth the $10 or whatever this costs. Number three, we have clamps. These aren't super exciting, but they're really handy and really important, especially for your lighting process. These are really good when you just need to clip on something really quickly. For example, a shower curtain to your stand, or if you have a backdrop and you need to clip it onto something, these are so handy. They don't cost a lot. Make sure you pick up some clamps. Number four is step rings. Now, you guys have heard me talk about ND filters a whole bunch of times, but ND filters can be pretty expensive. They can be a couple hundred dollars per filter. So you don't wanna be buying a whole bunch of them for every single lens because they all have different filter threads. So what can you do? The answer is step rings. These cost like $20 and they allow you to put a bigger filter onto a smaller lens. So what you would actually do is you'd buy one bigger size ND filter, let's say like a 72 mil, depending on what the biggest size lens you have is, and then you just use these step rings to attach it to smaller lenses. So this way you don't have to buy like five different ND filters for all your different lenses. You just buy these step rings and there you go. So these actually cost you negative dollars because it's gonna save you a whole bunch of money. Make sure to pick up some step rings. And then number five, we have gaff tape. This is a must have for every single filmmaker. It's kind of like a mix of masking tape and 
then duct tape. And why it's really good is it's a little bit stronger than masking tape, but it also doesn't really leave any residue, any glue on whatever you're putting this on. So this is the tape of choice for filmmakers. Everybody should have gaff tape. It's really handy for, let's say, putting marks on the ground if you need some for your talent so they know where to go, or labeling your gear. Let's say you have a bunch of Canon batteries and your friend who's on the shoot has a bunch of the same batteries. You can just put some of this tape on there, label it, now you know which batteries are your batteries. So for all your taping needs, you need gaff tape. It comes in a bunch of different colors so you can have your own process, your own organization for which colors do what. This stuff is super handy, really useful. Honorable mentions go to the China Ball and Black Wrap. China Balls are super handy, really easy to use to diffuse your light, and you can actually use them as practicals in a video also. So really handy, super cheap. And Black Wrap is kind of like an aluminum foil. It's matte. You can use this to shape your light and to block light if you don't want that light spilling onto your set. Black Wrap, super handy. Definitely check this stuff out. There we go, five random things under $20 that every single filmmaker should have. And sometimes it's the small things that actually make a really big difference. Sometimes we just get caught up in the lenses and the cameras and all that stuff. But the little things actually help so much much on a shoe. And the nice thing is that these are all cheap items and once you buy them, they're actually gonna last you a long time, if not forever. So you're making a small investment and getting a really big return. All right, enjoy Cyber Monday shopping from the comfort of your living room couch and don't miss out on the Travel Feel sales extended to this Friday, December 1st. Do not miss those sales. Guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those Travel Feels.